focused on. A lot of people questioning, will he adapt? Will he be able to do it? We're about to find out. This is what's exciting about Drift Masters. Here we go. Here we go. Fourth gear clicked as Nakamura fires that S15 in. Full throttle as he looks for that inner zone. He gets it. He goes very wide. He hangs onto it, though. That was incredible pace as he comes down. A big wobble, though, on the handbrake early and fails to get that outside zone. Now looks to join the dots. He's moving through this circuit at a rate of knots right now as Nakamura looks for that final outside zone. He gets into it, lights up the tyres right to the edge of the circuit, across the line. Nakamura, job done on the first qualifying round. Yeah. the limiter on the start line, making sure the anti lag is working as he comes off the line and Nakamura takes to the Swedish circuit for the second time today and he puts in a much cleaner initiation here. Learning as he goes, as he foot the floor through it, trying to collect that inner zone nice on that inner zone. A little bit of wavering as he comes to that inner zone, transitions back. He's definitely full throttle. He uses the handbrake to get himself to the outside zone and a nice job on the inside zone. So this is a pretty solid run so far from Naoki Nakamura as he comes through that last section into that last corner. It's where he made some errors the last time. Not so much this time. Very smooth, very solid. Looks like that car and engine package is working excellently. Nakamura. Well, in practice, he hit everybody. So let's see what happens to Oliver Randall. Oliver Randall's trying to run away right now because Nakamura is coming from as they go into that first corner. Randall with a lot of pace for that first corner. Nakamura stuck a little bit in the smoke, but starting to gain ground now. This is where Nakamura can be deadly in that chase position. Great proximity so far, but a little wobble as both drivers come down the track. And Nakamura is trying not to be too aggressive right now, but he's losing a bit of ground. A little bit of straight line. It doesn't look like he has the pace for Oliver Randall, but Randall's gone way wide here and made an absolute mess of that transition, allowing Nakamura back into the fight towards the end. Now, my notes, I'm tearing them up. Places to have a lot of flair here. And Randalu, well, he has an unknown entity going up into that first corner. He has no idea what to expect, but he's going for it. No, he certainly is going for it. He looked for the back bumper. He jumps up on the inside. Oh, contact! Randalu smashes into the side of Nakamura, and Nakamura stays in it, flicks the car across the circuit. The bumper hanging down. Can he upset the car? Will it upset the car? He keeps himself in it right now. Randall, who fires off circuit, forget everything you know about drifting because none of it makes sense anymore. Nakamura fires into that final outside zone. Randall, who goes for the door, he wants to stay in it. He pushes Nakamura across the line. So he's going to start turning it on from the off. He's he is to turn it on from the off straight away through the gears. Absolutely hammering. Fires that car in and he leaves Holovnia for dead at the moment. As Holovnia has no answer. He's going to go super wide. He holds on to it though true. as he transitions through down Very into the outside angle, but zone. Nice he goes. Alex Holovnia, no answer at the moment. Yeah. Four. Very slow for your drop. No, he's he's Nakamura on. trying to wait to see where the transition ends up for Nakamura. Alex. Nakamura gets into the outside zone, across the line. Halonia on, on the back bumper, me. though. Then full tilt into this first corner on the door. <laughs> so we're going to be sitting back and watching some expert driving here. We certainly are. Look at this. He's already on the back bumper, that BMW F22. As he dives up on the inside of the door, Halonia fires through, looks for that inside zone. And Nakamura is on the door. He's wobbling and wavering. But can he hold it together? He's a little shallow on the inside. Not what the judges wanted to see now he goes wide he's lost in the smoke ever so slightly straightens there as he transitions he's on the handbrake once again he once again finds the door that bmw f22 but he parks it in that outside zone on the door goes nakamura across the line on this one because Nakamura goes close. Here we are. Certainly does. Here we go through the chicane, through the start line, down through the gears they go. Nakamura on the back bumper. Benedict to Sherba already. Tucks himself into the smoke. Sherba flying as always. And look at this from Nakamura as he in the smoke, on the transition. Bumper to bumper. No messing around. Sherba on an absolute flyer of a wide line. But no shaking from Nakamura at the moment as he shallows up the angle. Gets on the handbrake. Settles that car now. Looks for the transition. Back, bam. Onto the door he goes. Door to door. Loses a little bit of ground as Sherba the Nakamura in the lead. Here we go. Top four space up for grabs. Who's going to take it? Well, who's going to take it indeed? Tire smoke already from Nakamura. And he fires that car on a big angle, but it's no scare in Cherber as he gets closer than Nakamura as he looks for the back bumper. Side skirts, panels start to fly from Nakamura's car. He's on the handbrake for a long time in the outside zone. That allows Cherber to set himself up now. Cherba losing some ground as Nakamura fires into that final outside zone and Benedictus Cherba having to shortcut the circuit. No proximity as they get it across the line. A strange second half of the run. Oh, on this one. He's going to know his name by the end of this weekend, that's for sure, as Chirpa slots through the gears, fires that BMW into that initiation zone, but look at this from Nakamura, he's right onto him, you can barely
race in through the smoke, blows exchanged and it forces Cherba off of that qualifying line, but he deals with it now as Nakamura takes a breath, thinks about it once again, looks for the transition. Cherba can't get away this time as Nakamura fires through, takes an early transition, almost a mistake from Nakamura, but he squeezes the throttle, jumps up onto the back bumper. That is actually the last time. Cherba's got to turn it off here. Cherba's got to go for it. Cherba has to go for it. He has to put himself in an uncomfortable position and it looks like he is going to go for it. They fire through. Cherba starts to get himself back into the swing of things now, but it's already allowed big separation to open up for Nakamura, and Nakamura fires into that final outside zone. Cherba, massive ground loss. Not sure what way the judges are going to see this. No, I don't. Collected, do my thing. Let's see how those stars mix up as we go for another spot in the final. Rinted into lead in Nakamura. Yeah, look at this already. Nakamura's getting into the groove now. We talk about the groove, and he's right in it. He's right in the pocket. He's right on the door as they come round that. Zones, hustling and bustling. Oh, but Nakamura takes a wrong transition. Wheels on the inside now, and that allows you are Rindon to drive away. He goes in front of the grandstand on full throttle as he now hammers down towards that final outside zone. Nakamura gets himself back up into the pocket, back into the groove on that qualifying line, but it's too much too late. We're like he's awesome. You just never know. Here we go. It's the second half of the battle to decide who goes to the final. It will be Nakamura in the lead position and Rindon in the chase. There we go. Nakamura to get out of it, get back on it again, but that forces you are running into a bit of understeer. Now the bonnet flapping the speed, these guys are carrying understeer once again for Nakamura. I wonder if that car's damaged, but you are written on the inside of the circuit, going over the curve, missing clipping points. This one is a scrappy second half of the battle. You are written, fires in, tries to find some sort of proximity at the end of the run, but I have no idea. <laughs> Us. Here we go. Yeah, this is it. The third and fourth place playoff underway, ready to rock and roll. And look at Nakamura, Nakamura onto the door of that GR86. You can't even see him through the smoke. He's closer than he's been all day. And it's a nice line for Prashkonsky as he fires down. But look at Nakamura as he gets up into the groove. Oh, over the curve. He goes, he just about holds on to it. He shallows up the angle. He deals with it. And now he transitions back bravely once again onto the door, onto the wheel he goes. Wow. He's over the edge here, so you've got to be over the edge as well. pishkonski has got to go from it from the very first moment here. Well, he's getting left already, David. He takes a late initiation, and that's not going to work right against this man right now. And Noki Nakamura is super wide, but he holds onto it, shallows up the angle, now begins to drive away. And Pishkonski has nothing in this one. Shallows up the angle, tries to find the grip and the pace, but look at Nakamura. He is absolutely gone. He fires into that final outside zone, and Pishkonski has no answer for the Japanese champion as he takes it home.